Hey guys, it's Omer from MLS.com and do a quick first impressions gameplay video for Fortnite. A free to play zombie survival shooter with sandbox elements developed and published by Epic Games. It's about 10 to 15 minutes on the ground, check this game out in the next comments. If you guys do want to play Fortnite or learn more about it, do check out a review on MLS.com on the link below. So let's go get started right now. We are actually on a mission in the game. The game actually costs money in early access as well. It's supposed to launch free to play officially sometime in 2018, but it is available right now in early access. So our mission right now is we have to find Lars's van. I'm playing with three other randoms. It auto match makes you for the game's quests. But this is actually a pretty interesting game. It mixes a lot of elements. Uh, namely, you have Minecraft style sandbox elements with gathering resources and crafting. We get wood by smacking these trees with our pickaxe. And if we want, we can start building some stuff where basically wherever we want. So we got some walls over here. We can build a base pretty much anywhere we want. And base building on the go plays an important role in the game because when zombies start coming towards you, you can build, oh, there's some zombies over there. They're just sleeping zombies. So let's go, let's go shoot them with our shotgun, all right? Let's go mess them up while they're sleeping. Easy deeps. There we go. And you are dead as well. That's a pitcher zombie. He throws bones at you. And those guys are already dead. We have to find uh, Lars's van to trigger this next part of this quest. Just look through these woods until we find it. Uh, we're all kind of scouring for it, but we're all doing it quite poorly. We probably should have found it by now. Oh, is this, nope, this is a, uh, give me some movement speed. There you go. So the game has some persistent elements too, as well as missions. There are linear progression through missions, but you can do the missions with other people. And luckily everything you get from the missions, whether it's resources, uh, and now it's revealing more of the map because we are really dumb and really slow at finding this. We're gonna ignore those zombies, and we need to kill them right now. But any of the resources you do gather over here is important because you can bring it with you in the persistent element. Uh, let's go kill these zombies coming after us right now. It actually plays a lot like Orcs Must Die as well, because once you start building a base, you can actually start putting down traps. Put down little, you can put down your own survivors as towers as well. So basically tower defense slash orcs must die and a lot of other elements. Graphically speaking, I think it looks pretty beautiful. It runs really well as, uh, as well. I've had no performance issues and no, no FPS drops or anything like that too. It's epic game, so it's obviously built on the Unreal Engine. We just we'll take some falling damage over there. Uh, basically the resources you get, you can use to craft these weapons. Uh, higher tier weapons are purple, blue, and then weak are green and grays are the weakest. Uh, before you can make a weapon though, you do have to find the schematic and get the resources for it. Oh god, we gotta reload. This this M4 we start with is actually a really weak weapon. It's just a starting like weapon. I located the van, boys. Remote well, did it. Took a little think? while. I think it's a van, Lars. And there's actually hey, some pretty fun storytelling in the game the as well. Honestly, I didn't know what Fortnite was about until I started yeah, playing it. Uh, the trailers didn't really make it too obvious. But the best way to maybe look at it is maybe something like Warframe cannon? meets like Minecraft or Worse Must Die because it has the linear progression of the stages. Right, kind of like Warframe idea. though. Then again, Warframe does have some branching off so you don't have to always do the same missions. Ready, and everything you get over here is pretty useful. Can we just mine this guy's computers? No, we can't. But you can find rarer resources too because if you want to make like uh, this weapon, you do need some slightly rarer resources. And it tells you where to find all the resources luckily like copper ore. It tells you where to find these goodies and toolboxes. So you, resource finding is pretty important. Uh, install the flying device, here we go. And here we go, things are gonna happen. Eventually we have to fight off hordes of enemies and it plays it's much like Orcs balloon. Must Die in that situation. Will it keep the van in the air? We'll find huh? out. We'll find out, here we go. Me. My guys, my teammates are just running around exploring the map right now. Stuff. They don't know what they're doing either. These are like the first few missions. We gotta find some blue glow. Uh, all right, we need to find some blue glow to power our ship. Luckily, the blue glow is If you've been in an area, it does reveal it over there. Oh, this guy already dropped off the blue glow. It's kind of like fuel. Nice. More data updated on my minimap. Build fences around the van. Build fence around. Now we're going to have to basically do a tower defense style mode. Flip the switch when we're ready. So we should build some stuff. I'll build some. He's building stuff already. We can all build stuff together too. But this guy's on it. I'm not going to I'm not gonna mess with this building over here. But you can basically build whatever you want. And the building is actually quite intuitive. You can rotate it, build it with various different materials. You can build uh, F2 for flooring. And the flooring is important because you can put traps on the flooring. And you got staircases. So you can pretty much build a lot of crazy stuff. And all this crazy stuff you can actually build in your persistent island as well. It's called your storm. It's basically just your base. So in your base, you know, you can make some really cool stuff. Can we go flip the switch? I'm ready to rock. Act Let's go activate the van. All right, we're ready to rock. We don't want to wait any longer. Uh, how do we go activate the van? Oh, there we go. We're activating. I'm ready to rock. I want to kill some stuff. So now we got three minutes of defense over here. There's quite a bit of customization and progression in the game as well. Let's so get build a door here. Because uh, you can, there's, there's skill trees, there's there's a lot of customization you can do, and I'll show you that after this as well. All right, let's try to use this. Let's try to use a shotgun. The first time using a shotgun, I'm using an M4 a lot. It tracks, yeah. keeps track of your damage at the top as well. Plus at the end of the mission, you can see um, how much everyone contributed as well, which is kind of fun. The zombies are trying to basically kill the van, and if they kill that van, our mission is failed, then we lose. 
be a rock this rocket launcher? Holy crap, let's go try this. I never tried this weapon either. That's actually a, a pretty good variety of weapons. But obviously the Obviously, the, the, the purple weapon is just better than the gray weapon. So, it, it does become a kind of, you know, you, you want to unlock all the rarer weapons, obviously. He's putting down more uh, walls over here, more defenses. And they're kind of coming from every angle right now. And I'm sure the missions will get harder later on. I did a few missions already. They've all been pretty easy. Combat is, again, pretty responsive too. The game works really, really smoothly, which is definitely a nice touch. Plus, you can see exactly how much damage you're doing to zombies. Headshots will do more damage, which is nice. Kind of encourages you to aim for the head. Though these early missions are pretty brain dead easy, I would say. But as you go further along, and I'm sure you can do very specific modes as well, they can become really fun that way, especially when you're doing it with your friends. Queuing up with friends and stuff. Let's kill these guys. You do have ammo, and ammo does run out, but you can craft more ammo. Uh, again, the, you do need the persistent resources. And then the mission, you get a reward, uh, a loot chest reward. And depending on how well you do, how many points you earn, is based on what tier of the chest you get. Let's not waste too much ammo. We can go, uh, let's go shotgun this guy. Shotgun uses different ammo too than my M4, which is why it's 52 versus my level. This guy's just casually gathering wood over there. Doesn't even care. Get the movement speed up. We can't do that right now. Probably not worth using, blow, you know, blowing my shotgun shells though. Again, they're not super rare anyway. Let's go kill this guy too. The pitcher guy looks pretty funny. He just throws bones. And this, I'm we're only seeing a handful of enemy types right now. As we keep going, we'll get more and more. Bonus, van health up of 80%. So if you complete this mission with the van not getting hit too much, we do get a bonus reward, which is nice. And these missions are basically just kind of to teach you how to play the game right now. It's quite a bit of, custom, no, not just customization, but like, you can bring different survivors with you. And the survivors you can basically place as basically turrets or uh, support roles if you have certain... You know, uh, survivors with you, it gives you bonus to your regen, bonus stats, and whatnot. So, and you can there's tons of those you can unlock. 30 there. seconds ago, easy enough. Let's try using a revolver. I, I've yet to try this weapon either. Let's replace that weapon with a revolver, and it should do some pretty good damage. Actually, if you see the, the little power icon to the top left, I do believe that's the weapon strength. So, the higher the strength, typically the better weapon it is. Oh man, now it's getting nighttime. Being serious business. So these guys are basically killing everyone over here, right, right as they spawn. As I said, it's really easy early on, but you know, I'm sure you can do way more challenging stuff after you learn to play the game. Good job, team. So now we get the, we got, we got the bonus as well. We have to deposit more blue glow in there. Not bad. I these are just traps. These wall darts over here. Well. These people put down. So it does play a lot like Orcs Must Die. There's the literally camp. like floor traps like this as put well. So when zombies ready. walk on this, they just get murked and destroyed. So it's, it, it borrows elements from a lot of games, and I think it's a pretty unique mix of games as well. And it's a really high quality Activate game. I mean, the, the voice acting is there, the storytelling is there, and the storytelling is just is fun, it's comedic. I don't think it's the end of the world style, you know, style scenario, and it's, it's really just a fun story. It's not meant to be super, super serious. He's just gathering more resources too. If you find like cars, like abandoned you know, town, some of the missions, you can get different resources from there as well. Like, I don't really need too many of these basic resources. I do need some of the, like, these resources. I need a lot of these. Ammo crafting, what do I need for my ammo crafting? We can do, uh, I'm actually low on, we need nuts and bolts. You can get them in toolboxes, crates, and by destroying mechanical objects. So any mechanical objects gives you both metal as well as bolts. Now you have to defend the van again in a different wave of enemies. So ultimately, it's it's a fun game. If you like any of these tower defense uh, style games, just defending stuff, it's pretty cool. What I like mostly about it is just the high quality feel of it. It just runs really, really well. Plus, you get the persistent elements of basically getting resources and building an epic base as well. Things are a lot of stuff just isn't unlocked early on. Like the cooler weapons, the cooler uh, traps and stuff. Those aren't available early on, and you do get those from loot boxes. So you do have to grind a lot of those, a lot of loot boxes, or buy them. So there's a lot of RNG elements too, so you can't necessarily just get the item you want. You gotta go through the loot boxes. So funny enough, the loot boxes are basically llama pinatas. So you just break a pinata and you get loot from them. We just keep defending this right now. They're coming, you can see the, the where they're coming from on the map as well. Hopefully you can choose some of these missions on different difficulties later on. I don't think there's difficulty selection just yet in the early missions. I would love to do some of these missions on hard mode. It could be mega fun if like you're struggling to do this. Let's go back to our pistols. Pistols are a fishing gun over here. And to see more enemies, there's people over here. Again, headshots do more damage, so it's, it's kind of fun to aim for the head. Plus, you can compete with other people for how much damage you do at the end, how many zombies you kill. That makes it a little fun, too. We got, we got a silver medal right now, and as you keep filling it up, you'll get, you know, different medals for it. Oh, Van actually took damage this time. So, it's not, they, they did get, I'm not sure even how the zombies got through there. 
Maybe they walked over here. It'd be pretty funny if they just jumped in. As And there's actually a whole bunch of survivors as well, like uh, actual heroes. The lady I'm playing right now can shoot grenades. She can lock different stuff as she levels up too. Uh, she's only low level for me right now, so I only have the grenade ability. As you can see, I can do it with X. We can just do the grenade. Grenades aren't a resource. Those actually just, you know, we get... You know, every 20 seconds, it looks like you get a grenade. There's a cooldown on as well. Those just kind of pile up. Go kill these guys. This does pretty good damage. I was using my tier 1 pistol earlier, and this is noticeably better. Like, almost twice as much damage. This guy again. These are very... The basic zombies are super easy to kill. But it's a fun game to play with friends, though, for sure. Oh, the zombie actually killed our wall. Uh, different ways we can, we can upgrade these walls. To, uh, th these are stone. If you build metal walls, they have more HP. Obviously, metal is a slightly rarer resource. But depending on what map you play, honestly, if you're playing in like a, a town, there's basically cars everywhere, and the cars will give you tons and tons of metal. So this guy. There's a ton of story missions, too. I think uh, 10 pages worth of story missions, I think, for quest. For four missions per page, so... Those will keep you busy for a while. The fort is falling. I'm sure. Oh, whoa! Our fort is falling. What? Are we gonna hit from somewhere? Yeah, so basically, you want to you want to basically spread apart your troops. We're basically uh, we're all playing pretty poorly right now. I should probably camp at the top over here. We go kill this. I mean, we're still gonna win, but I, I want to get that bonus. Let's get the van above 80 percent. I just fell down. Let's go get out of here again. Uh, if you have the high ground, it's a little easier to see enemies. We can actually make our own uh, exits if we want. If we click. Um, G? We can't enter this building, right? Maybe the guy, only the guy who makes it can. Uh, I probably should keep close this door so they can't get in there. 45 seconds left. If we go up here, we can get a much better view. There we go. You can repair these walls as well, so it's pretty easy to not lose early on. There's more zombies here for you to shoot. It plays buttery smooth, that's what I really like about it. So it's kind of lame that the early access costs money and the free-to-play version is launching in 2018. So if you want to play now, you will have to pony up, I think, about 30 bucks or so? 20 or 30 bucks, I forgot how much. Right, we'll kill these dudes. We'll see if you get the best score then. I don't think it's me, because you get points for building as well. My combat score might be decent, but my, my building score is pretty bad. I didn't build too much. Uh, three, three seconds left, we two, got it. One, oh, and anybody go. traps on either, so I'm not going to get any points for that. Alright, the van is in success. the air. Good we job, did it, team. boys. We did it. And I'll show you the the persistent element seen. of the Quick, of your actual base after this as well. I won in less God than two days. May the king of Olympus guide your journey. He always does. <laughs> All right, mission complete over there. Missions are typically not too long. This guy's off. He did it. He's flying away on his car, rocking the guitar. And we see the scores. All right, uh, I am. This is mine. Twelve. We all have the same total score. It looks like. 237. There we go. I got the combat badge, boys. That's the only one that counts, the combat badge. And we can see the full score on the next screen as well. And you actually level up as well. There are skill trees. To, you can customize basically what your character's strengths and weaknesses are too. One skill point gained. You can see those in a moment too. And based on our score, we can get different chests. So we're going to get, hopefully, uh, we get, we're going to get a tier 2 chest, which is not very good. Oh, tier 3 chest. Obviously, you want to go for that last one. That gives you, uh, guarantees you better rewards. Nice. We have to open that at the end. Not yet. We get that at the end. So, we can see mission stats and combat points. 237, just barely, but I took the combat damage. That's the only one that counts. People can add your friends list over here. Now, we go back to our base. This is basically our hub menu. From here, we embark on missions and basically pick our skills and all that good stuff. So, it's almost like the overview map in Warframe. That's probably the best way to look at it, honestly. These are more rewards for us. Open hey, this as well. Uh, Ray, we Quest complete. Cloud around that of yours. And for completing this mission, we're going to get a skill point as well. And before, again, we get well, a lot more missions to do running, over here. Be able to explore the surrounding area. And this this is the game's Ooh, map. Uh, from idea. here, we go, go to our Storm gives Shield. This is your persistent too. map as well. But these are the heroes you can equip. This is my the dude, I'm ro the lady I'm rocking. <laughs> but you know, I can play any of these people. They all have their own bonuses. You get different stats, different HP and shield. And they actually level if up as well. Once you get multiple storm, stars in your character, they get different abilities. So I should probably the be leveling up somebody better. Like the these blue people, these blue face. heroes have four there stars. One My current one's only three, so probably want to get somebody a little better. The they have different abilities and other good stuff too. And you can equip different uh, squad bonuses. Oh god, it's gonna, we, have to, we have to unlock those right now. But there's, actually, there's a good amount of customization. You can see our armory, you know, your defenders. I, mean, I don't have any right now. My survivors. These guys. If I equip these guys, they get different bonuses. 
Uh, survivors gain plus 5% uh, damage done. Other good stuff. And we can... You can see all my resources too. But let's get out of here. And let's... You can see the skill trees. Uh, we don't have any choice until you get like over here. We can go learn uh, improve offense. We can get some storm shield storage size plus 5. If you want to store more stuff in your base. So that's not bad either. I think you can get both anyway. And you keep progressing down this tree. There's only one of, of many skill trees. There's, there's... Well, this is just the one I'm working on. These are all... There's just so much variety here, too, with the customization. But these are all generally pretty minor changes anyway. Uh, these are my loot boxes. We can get, open this llama. Let's go and smack Did it. Anyone order a llama? And this is, again, your, your RNG element. Besides the chest at the end of the level, you can do this as well. Guys. These are, unfortunately, tier one. These are pretty, all pretty awful that I got. I mean, you basically never want to be using these one-star weapons anyway. But I did get a common survivor. It gives me ability damage bonus. But again, they're all pretty low tier. And if you get upgraded llama, you get better loot. <laughs> we have a couple. We, we get a couple for our to start with, I believe. Anyway, let's get out of here. And I want to show you the our persistent map, and then we can end it for now. So we go to our storm shield and click select. And from here, basically, this is this is our base. This is our what we can build here for fun. You can take all the resources and everything you get from playing the missions and bring it all to make an awesome base. Build a castle, whatever you want, basically. And the building mechanics are pretty intuitive. It, it does the building is. I think kind of like Rust, and I, I love the way Rust handled sandbox building. I think they did a really good job, and you can really do all of that over here. Complete missions, use resources to complete missions, expand your storm shield, upgrade and defend, and you can basically do really awesome stuff here. This is your persistent hub. You can invite people over here to build stuff, and this is this is really this is probably along with your stats the only persistent element in the game. Beyond that, it's just the missions over and over again. But again, everything you get there kind of contributes to your persistent character and your progression in the game. But we're not out of the woods yet. My base is mega janky Our right now. I just did the tutorial stuff over here. We'll and you can build expand. whatever you want, really. We can build, uh, build a staircase over here. And we go here. We can build we can more walls. It. We can make a really tall base if we want. So and the resources are really cheap, too. So you're not really grinding too much of these resources. Out, like, 10 wood to make a wall is like nothing. Or 10, uh, you know, basically 10 of anything. Well, you get so much from whacking these anyway. You, you know, you get them really quickly. You can quickly gathering resources right now. But yeah, that's that's what that's Fortnite. It's, it's a pretty fun game. Bad. It honestly feels like a really so polished, super all, polished, almost out, like single player experience with some persistent elements. You know, it's not a it's not a traditional Minecraft style sandbox game because of the the only persistent element are these these uh these storm shields. You know, you don't have a persistent world map. You have missions the way you do in Warframe. But then again, Warframe will have the persistent areas eventually too. So Warframe may not be the best comparison, but it, it does feel like there's a really polished, like, linear experience, even though it, it's got some persistent elements. But yeah, if you guys do want to play Fortnite or learn more about it, do check out the whole review on it was.com on the link below. Anyway, guys, later.